Hello beautiful family in the light, it's Honey Bee. Wishing you an incredible day and welcoming you to another video series with the bringers of light that presents incredible beings who are truly living and serving their divine mission. And today I have Terry Lam, mm. my dear, dear sacred sister. Thank you, sister. Thank you. Here in Nice, France, as she's been called to be here to anchor profound light here with her service. And I just want to go ahead and bring it up to Terry Lam. What brought, we are in Shabanda at her center right now. And you're going to hear some noise of exchange. But I want to ask you, Terry Lam, you, you were called to come here. You were called to, to well, serve from here and it's taking quite a bit of your um, yourself to be able to anchor this mission and move mm. into that selfless state. Tell me where was the where did the inspiration come from you like to share? Yeah I think the inspiration came from the fact that this is a very high density city which yes. you, you feel. Yes. And when I started working here, when I moved here five years ago and I started working here, I really felt the the, the need for something to happen yeah. up on the hill. Yeah. Um, and I started working up higher, up mm -hmm. in Nice, mm -hmm. and uh, it just exploded. Yeah. And I needed a bigger place, and yeah. I found this place, and when I walked into this place, it was the light. Yeah. On the hill, and, and the, the it does feel like a lighthouse. Yes, completely. Yeah, and and um, uh, how 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 can I say this? The the density down there, uh, the people on this hill do not go down there, yeah. and they also need uh, someone to follow. Yeah. And I take people by the body. Mm -hmm. I use them. Mm -hmm. I use their bodies as an instrument to yeah. get to if they're ready mm -hmm. to get them to wake up. Mm -hmm. If they're ready, obviously. Yeah, obviously. But the people that do live up here will not go down there. Yeah. Yeah. So isn't that interesting? Like the vehicle, yeah. it's very symbolic. The vehicle of this and that vehicle of transportation so you have to like you have to really anchor it here to take him isn't mm -hmm. it interesting yeah, yeah and that that's just the word that you're saying is mm. anchoring it mm. but very softly because mm. there's so much resistance mm. that it has to be with the utmost subtlety yes and um and it's such a different type of clientele yes. here and, yes. and people that live up here. You can feel as you come up the space, mm. abundance. Yes, uh, much more. It breathes more. Yeah. It definitely breathes more. Yeah, it breathes more and the people are, um, they're, they're much different than the community that we have down yes, in, the in the center of the town. There's not really a sense of community, yeah. and now they're starting to feel a yeah. sense of community, and they f and it feels good. Yeah. It feels it's amazing because it's like it's like such a small little like community, but it's so determined, and people show up, and it's incredible. I feel like this third year in a row here, it's, it's been amazing to be just a witness of that, and also how you all are all coming together to help support the community of light, and, and I'm so grateful because I know you also created Shawanda TV together with your husband, Jean-Michel, so to help bring the education forward through different ways, different teachers coming to just help expand it, which I'm so grateful for your openness and in allowing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it was it was obvious to me that, that this this place was the seed of this place was to yeah. integrate yeah. people coming in working with energy yes. and with the body so that so that the community that is unaware would become aware that mm. through the physical body right. they could attain a different state uh, in a different dimension. And they can be supported through different ways. Yes, yeah. and, and that's the Shawanda TV is an extension, one of the extensions that I had seen mm. um, as being able to reach people that are not unable to come out of yes. their homes for whatever reason, yes. if it's physical or, or emotional or whatever right. reasons, that they can also partake and know what the community is doing here. Yeah. So it's putting the people in the community into their their yes. just light. Yes. And the other the other way of trying to wake this community up up here is through jewelry, yes. which has carries a high vibration. Yes, and I'm glad so, I got a yeah. chance to, um, you know, this mm -hmm. is some of the higher conscious, very clean, pure crystals that you brought here to help bring that education mm -hmm. forward. And I know a bunch yes. of them that you're wearing yourself. Yes. Which this. is so incredible. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. beautiful pieces and, and behind the piece there's an energy. Yeah. So I, I, I always say if we can put it 
pretty, yeah. beautiful white knot. Well, exactly, and because that car that carries that high frequency. That's absolutely. yeah, that's yeah. it. So you yeah. have beauty and high frequency yeah. in a beautiful area. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and the so. energy keeps moving, shifting, which mm -hmm. is really powerful. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'll, get, I'll go ahead and share like the links on the bottom of here and. What, what is important about Bingers of Light, to be able to, as viewers get to see it, they get to become inspired by those who are truly living it. It was, they had a calling and they did it, mm -hmm. and they are living it, and they've given so much up to serve that, and I wanted individuals to know we exist, and there are a bunch mm -hmm. of us, and to, to be able to reach out, and to be able to uh, you know, find the courage to be able to do it themselves as well. So I'm very grateful to your service. I'm very grateful to the community here. I'm so grateful for opening the doors and opportunities so others like me can come and share. We can just put the energy, put the light together mm -hmm. and serve at the higher, you know, just the higher place together. So. Well, I think the, the feeling is mutual. Yeah. Our community here is so grateful that you're here yeah, you. and we love you so much. Yeah, I love, I love <laughs> it's my family. It's family yes. and I look forward to returning and being able to share even more each time as we ourselves, our frequency shifts between the gateways, between this, between all these dimensional portals, we're able to come and strengthen it even more, mm -hmm. create the transformation energy. So thank you so much, mm -hmm. Terrilla, thank, thank you, you to Shawanda, thank you for all the blessings and may um, may the rest of you also be inspired and I'll put the information so you can go ahead and reach out as you need to. Mm -hmm. So with that, Aho Namaste, and Lakesh, Banur Esh, Hash Hash, thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye.